When you do th something like this, you know, I had no recall really, and I haven't seen the full six episodes since we actually did it. And, and at the moment I saw that first drawbridge, I suddenly went, I do remember that. I remember being in Bessie. I remember coming up here. And I remember John and I roaming all around this castle when we weren't actually doing anything. John and I were so fascinated by absolutely everything. And so this castle was like, oh, hello, we're going to explore this. And we did. But it is amazing how your memory just starts to come back the moment you see things. And it was lovely. It was, and it was only my second episode. So I was still kind of very green and very excited about absolutely everything. It was full on. I mean, it was absolutely full on. There wasn't a second when there wasn't something happening. Um, and any second that there wasn't anything happening, John and I would once again disappear to have a little look around, you know, furkle off in Bessie, which we often did and get into trouble for it. Watching all those scenes and, and all of the stunts that were going on, it was wonderful. It was very, very exciting. I do remember that because um, it was it was a I think there was a lot of battle scenes in these six episodes. I mean, there was lots of guns and it was actually quite violent, I think. Did you enjoy coming out on the, You're a real history lover, aren't you? Did yeah. you enjoy coming to places like this and discovering parts of Britain whilst, you know, whilst doing the day job? Oh, absolutely. I still do. I'm still doing that and in many countries. But John and I were both fascinated by history. So wherever we went, when we were doing the demons, you know, we'd shoot off to Avebury and things like that. And I know when we were here, I know John and I went off somewhere else, I don't know, down, down towards the actual sea for some reason or other. And then we also did a whole thing of in, in the castle where we saw places that I think uh, John wanted to see where other people didn't normally get to go. It must be amazing for you to see it back in colour again. What I saw that those boys have done, I thought was absolutely brilliant. I mean, what an incredible job. And what a joy to have it, you know, back and fully restored in the colour. I think, you know, it was lovely that John saw how strong the programme stayed. I mean, I think that was one. But I, I think it's terribly sad in a sense that he hasn't been here to do the DVDs than he hasn't because the stories that he would have to tell. I mean, we were great telling stories together because whatever I said, he'd correct me. So I know if he was here now, he'd say, no, she got that wrong. That was wrong. No, we didn't do that. <laughs> um, but I think it is sad that he, you know, he wasn't here to do these DVDs and to come back and to revisit 